I'm going to show you how to overclock an i7 930 so that you can get um, go from 2.80 up to as far as your heat sink fan will allow you to go and your cooling system can support. Okay. What you see here is my overclock and you can see what I've got. If you look at my target CPU frequency, which is right here, it says that my processor is currently at 3.514. Um, and my RAM is at 3.1.338. And my stock RAM is um, 1333 megahertz. So you can see I overclocked my RAM a little bit, but you, you shouldn't go too high on your RAM. So if you have 1600 speed RAM, try and stay around that. Um, and the processor will go as high as your RAM will let you go. So um, let's get started here. First, you want to go into the, uh, let's go back here. Or let me uh, reset the defaults here, and I'll show you what to change. Let's put F7 on mine. Go to yes. Okay, let me go back. So you enter in your BIOS. You want to go to frequency and voltage control. Push enter. Then the first thing you want to do is go into the voltage control. If you have an EVGA um, motherboard, you want to go without VDroop. You can see with or without. If you want to go without. Um, then go into these settings right here and you'll see what the stocks are on here. You raise all these one higher with the exception of a few of these. So I'm um, going in here and uh, see if you see it's 1.125. Go ahead and raise it one higher than that. Um, now your dim voltage, you can if you know your dim voltage, set it to uh, what, what it needs to be set at. Do not put it higher than it needs to be. And um, the CPU VTT voltage, I would not raise this higher than 100. You might have some issues. Um, I'm going to leave my dim voltage at auto because it doesn't need to be changed. You don't need to change this. Um, go ahead and change this one. This one. You'll see why we're raising all the temps after this, or after all the voltages. So I went ahead and raised it all one higher than the stock value of it. Then we'll just push escape. <coughs> Okay, once that's done, go in here, go into memory uh, memory feature, and change this to the lowest setting you have. See, mine's 2.6, go ahead and set it to that. And if you know your RAM timings, you can set those as well in here. Um, this is auto, auto, you can go 9, 9, 20, whatever. I mean, set it to whatever it is, whatever it's supposed to be. Push escape. <clears throat> okay, here's how you start your overclock. Um, you want to make sure that uh, execute disable bit is turned off or else Windows 7 will not detect your overclock and you'll have some issues. Um, I just usually leave all these features disabled. Um, leave hyper threading on because that's for your, your CPU and um, you want to leave that to all. And all this can be left to normal. I don't even mess with any of that. So, um, okay, here's your overclock right here. So we got 133 is stock 280, and this is set to 21. What you want to go ahead and do is set this to 20 to start with. Set it to 20. Then it's going to lower my core clock down to 266. Now you can see what all your overclocking is going to be done. It'll show you right here on my board anyways, not necessarily yours. Okay, so if I go ahead and raise this to, I'm just going to pick a random number. If you put your CPU at this, it's going to fry your processor 100% for sure. But I'm going to put it at the max just to show you what you could possibly do. I mean, yeah, it's so high it doesn't even show up. I mean, come on. Let's put it at something lower just for, we'll go to 400. Okay, so that would essentially be overclocking my processor to 8.0 from a 266. Now, you're guaranteed to fry your whole system. Um, okay, let me go ahead and set it. Now, you want to stay around 200, 210. I mean, if you go to 210, let me see what it'll give you. 210 will give you 4.0 at, at 20. Um, if you go to, let's say, 300, yeah, that's going to overclock you to about 6.0. So it's just, you know, a matter of messing around with it and getting the, you know, the settings right. The one I use is 175, I believe. Um, no. Okay, yes, this might be it. I think I use 175, which overclocks my 280 to 3.5. And then once you have a decent overclock right here, 
and you got a you know a nice you're saying okay I can deal with three five then you go back into your memory feature what you're going to want to do is raise this up as high as you can now if you noticed it raised mine to 1402 if I try and run my RAM at 1402 it'll more than likely it'll run but it'll give me the blue screen to death eventually so what I need to go ahead and do is lower this down to uh, 174 maybe just a few let's see we just lower that down until we get it closer to the original um, that it needs to be at. So mine is 1333. We want to get it a little bit closer than that. So we'll go to 173. And overclocking is basically your RAM is the limits what you got. So I can go to 170. And I can also raise this up to 21. Let's do that. And if you raise that up to 21, it'll raise your processor and lower your RAM speed. So that's what you want to do. So I'll go ahead and keep going down. One, six, seven, let's say. Um, there we go. And that's as close to my uh, RAM frequency as I can. And that's barely overclocking my RAM. It's not going to affect much. And my overclock is at 3.514, which gives you a nice little overclock. So it's a matter of messing with um, your memory feature, your core clock ratio, your CPU clock ratio, and your CPU host frequency. If you mess with these three things, you can get a, a pretty nice little overclock. Then once you're done, you want to make sure that you save your profile. Um, okay. Now, if you have any problems with your overclock, what you may need to do is raise some of these voltages even higher. However, do not do this. Let me show you. Um, if I keep scrolling down here. Okay, see how it's green right there? These mean that it's okay to run, you can run it at any of these green ones. But, do not go to the red, because you will fry your setup. Alright, um, that's basically that. Let me go ahead and, okay. And after you want to do that and you want to save your profile, then if you have to reset your CMOS for any reason, you can just go to load profile and load your profile. So I just loaded my profile up, which was basically what I just did, but, um, and then I'll go ahead and escape out of this, save and exit setup, 